Ian or Jameson? I'm not answering that. Ian. My money's on Jameson. Girl, big Ian. Uh, intellectual Jameson. Did you see how she cried over the Ian? Have you seen his feet, Jameson? That ain't Matt. Girl, that's I see you on my lips. Hey. Hey, good afternoon, Tyler. My name is Amaya Desire from Big Go Bell Media. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So well, congratulations and welcome back for season two of Harlem. Hey, um, thank you. Thank you. I was really excited to see you guys came back. And of course, I've already been season two and now I got to wait for my friends to catch up. But <laughs> tell me, um, what was it about this character, Ian, that caused you to take it on? I would say the number one thing that I saw, even when I was just reading the breakdown before I went into the initial audition, um, that I've also seen showcased throughout, you know, where we're at up until this point in season two, is just the fact that he was written with so much, uh, like, contrast and juxtaposition, if you will. Like, he um, he has this sense of strength that you see sometimes mm -hmm. when he, you know, just packed up everything, left everything that he ever knew to chase his, chase his dream over in Paris. And then... Uh, you know, there's certain times in season two where he doesn't have it all figured out and he's got to be vulnerable enough to talk about what he's feeling with his significant significant other. And even, you know, you could you could see that even in the first the first uh, audition that I had. So that's that's really what drew me to the character, because I feel like that's uh, who we are as humans. We're not one note. Yeah, I agree with you. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite thing about Ian? Like, where do you see the either the similarities or the differences between you and I would say that um, you know he doesn't he doesn't have it all. One thing I like about him is that he doesn't have it all figured out, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and through and through him picking the pieces up and and trying to figure out what to do moving forward, we learn a lot about him. Um, you know, I feel like if he was just one strong note the whole time, you know, it's, it's difficult to learn, uh, uh, you know, about someone like that or or to be able to empathize with them in any type of way. And then. Um, it was there was a second part to your question I really liked. What was it? Um, <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to. I forgot. I wanted, no, I no, it's okay, it. it's okay. I was saying that, um, like, what were the differences or the similarities? Like, yeah, yeah. I would say one of the biggest scenario oh, scenarios, one of the biggest similarities between Ian and myself is that we are truly uh, two men that are in process, trying to figure out who we are and what mm -hmm. we stand for in life. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. That's uh, you yeah. know I didn't know what was going on in Philly and. You know, I had this, I had something going on internally that drew me out here and you know, I, I didn't know how it was going to work or even what I wanted to do. But following that led to other things 12 years later. This is where I sit. So it's like I kind of like the idea that he's not afraid to figure out who he is. Um, okay. Not taking the easy way, easy way out and just settling for, a, you know, a quick paycheck. He's trying to figure out why he's here in life. Um, yeah. I would say one of the biggest differences is that... Uh, you know, I might be able to whip up a little something, but I I can't cook like Ian. <laughs> you ain't no real I can't chef. cook okay. like Ian yeah. now. <laughs> it's all good. Well, you know what? I, I'm really excited. I feel like your character is very diverse. It's something that black men need to see on camera, both the feminine energy and the masculine energy. And before I go, last question would be, um, what's your favorite episode this season for season two? Mm. You know, I have a lot of fun in that in that episode four where they're trying to teach each other new tricks in the bedroom and they're getting, you know, they're getting high and you get to see a side of Ian, right. and, Ian and Camille that we haven't seen yet. So I really love that. And then I would probably say on a deeper note, I, I love where he leaves off at the very end. Because mm -hmm. it's a, uh, you know, without giving the spoiler away, when you see how we end off in season one and where we begin in season two, you have this idea of where they're going to end up. Absolutely. And as the season two comes to an end, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not what you expect. Um, and yeah. then within that, there's a great lesson to be learned. You know what I mean? I feel like, uh, you know, we go through these storms for a reason. It's not, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's for no other reason than, than to get stronger. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even if it comes Absolutely. off like it's a loss or it's something different than you may expect. So uh, I would say episode eight is also my favorite for a deeper level. All right. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations um, again on season two. And I thank can't you. wait to see what the rest of the world thinks. Take hey, care. me neither. I appreciate it. All right, JPI.